Hello, I'm Dr. Ellen Dickstein, and I'm here with One Journey founder Guy Finley. And we have a couple of questions that will be of interest to One Journey members. So let's get started. What is our responsibility and role as individuals to make this a better world? How many times has that question been asked on this planet? And how many answers have been given relating to, you know, uh, form this group, do this planetary action? I mean, it has been an endless series of the same question followed by answers that essentially have changed very little in terms of human nature and its negative impact on this planet. So I have a different answer. I hope that it doesn't go in the same file 13 or whatever they call <laughs> that. In order to honor what you have been given as a human being, you must see how enslaved you are, all of us are, with wanting honors. How can I honor what the divine has made of me. If the whole purpose of my existence is in one way or another to ensure that I'm honored by people around me, listen to this, for something I didn't even give myself. So in order to be a human being that makes as an individual the fulfillment of their responsibility to make this a better world, you've heard it a thousand times. Take the beam from your eye before you see the moat in the eye of another. Then your action is instantaneous. Your action is not predicated on anything else other than what you are in immediate relationship with in the moment that is revealing to you your nature. And in the revelation of your nature as it is, is the beginning of the complete change of who and what you are. And if you and I each did that, really consistently, the world would have to change entirely. Why? Simple example. Here I am, I'm getting ready to go out someplace. Uh, I go out and my car has a flat tire. I'm just picking the most mundane thing in the world. What happens when we're on our way someplace, maybe to receive honors or to get some money, and suddenly the world says, no, you're not going out at this moment. You tell me what happens, we know what happens. Mm -hmm. Up comes this negativity, this, this, you know, I bet my wife drove the car yesterday. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. A host of explanations, please, to hide from me the hatred that has appeared as a result of being thwarted by this moment. So I can either honor what I am, which is the capacity to see in myself that which wants to blame its pain on the world around it, or I can be the individual who believes that, and then I go out. Person number one, the one who blames the world. Everyone he meets that day is punished by his nature. Right. Because he's just reveling, she's just rolling around in this resentment that they're late, and this has happened, and all the rest of that as it unfolds. The other person, the one that you and I are intended to be, is the person who receives the blow of this nature that was on its way to fulfilling or becoming something more, getting its pleasure, having been stopped, and then realizing that the gift of the moment was the revelation of this nature, and then in gratitude, if not painfully, I do what needs to be done, I receive the lesson of the moment, and I go out into my day, and my gratitude and my sense of being fulfilled by life meets everyone I see. And everyone I see is exactly the same thing as what was given to me in that moment with my tire. So you can see that literally this butterfly effect could exist, but it would exist because of a change in our nature, not in the world that we're trying to change so that we can escape ourselves. Right. The violence stops in us. That's where it stops. Okay. So how can the actions of one person really make a difference in this world? We pretty much just answered that. But I'll tell you uh, a slightly bigger picture, and mm -hmm. uh, I'll extrapolate it. <laughs> and I, I ask you, watching this, why is the world the way it is? 
I mean, we can assert that people do things and it's a terrible place and we can assign all the blame in the world, but in the end, isn't it what happens within me that determines what follows, regardless of what someone else does? So I would say that the reason the world is the way it is is because we live in ignorance of our possibilities. And where you have ignorance, you have blindness. Because the ignorant, by the way, the definition of ignorance is he who ignores, she who ignores reality. So we live in a world in which we are literally cultured into ignoring reality so that we can support and, and spend our money on a false reality. And because of that, we're blind to real life. And if I'm blind to real life, can I, can I separate that blindness from running into things? And if I run into things, then it creates more ignorance because I refuse to see that it wasn't that I ran into you because you were doing something. I didn't see the relationship and couldn't avoid it because of where I was going and what I wanted. So I was blind. Look how important this is to understand. There is, the, it, it, it isn't a, um, an affirmation, it isn't philosophy, it isn't even in the, in the sense of the word, in quote, spiritual. It's a fact. If you and I would wake up and really want to see who and what we are as we are it, the whole world would change because every last one of us sounds out, if you will, a certain kind of note that's born out of being touched by life. And that sound can either be harmonious, it can either be full of gratitude, it can be fearless, or that sound can be bitter, it can be angry and full of rage and resentment. What sound will you make? That's what determines what the world is. And if enough human beings ever truly learned that truth and began to receive life with the understanding that in its pure reception then radiates from that individual a completely different order of his being, having been changed by the revelation that came with what touched him, then the world actually changes. You honor what you are and you become everything that you're meant to be. Thank you, Guy. You're welcome. And thank you for being part of OneJourney.net.